There's a cat. Somewhere. There's a cat somewhere. Trying to see where I can find this fucking cat. Oh, right in front of me. And there's no way in hell. Don't tell me that you I would have fucking saw that if I wasn't paying attention. Hey, he is that f wow, he is that fucking close. Okay, is there anything else around here? I think that's it. Hello? Yeah, I could be son. Did you find the perv? Oh my goodness, this is... Yosuke, look out! Behind you! <laughs> oh my god, I know he's so mortified! You cut your hair short just like I told you! Excellent, excellent! Well, wait, I'm not. Hmm? What's this? You've been toning up your ass, haven't you? <laughs> Are you working your glutes? <laughs> Help me, Yakubi side! Not even ass catchem can tell those two apart. Alright, I think it's now for time for us to step in. <laughs> Ready? Set Go! Hey, get the hell back here! Oh my god, wow, that is really something. That is so much something. Wait a sec. They didn't even put this music on. Like, you can tell this ain't fucking serious at all. Damn, he is gone. Ah, shit. Back here. All right, we caught the man. Oh goodness, I'm. Oh my god, can't believe his name is Ass Ketchum. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shit, this guy is fast. <sighs> Nobody's ever caught up to me before. Just who are you? The detective was gonna bring you in. Your ass catcher, <laughs> right? <laughs> the detective? Does that mean you're the one who took down the first of the trio? You mean the panty professor? It hardly matters. You're coming with me downtown. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't make any assumptions about bringing me down as easily as him. 
He was nothing. A nobody. You should have thanked his lucky stars we were even letting him in the Twisted Trio. You're saying a guy who used a remote controlled drone to steal panties off balconies was nothing? Never mind him. Right now my blood is really pumping after grabbing that cute girl's ass in a nice jog. <laughs> oh my god, he could not tell them apart. <laughs> my whole body feels rock hard. Oh god. <laughs> So I thought he was going to take off his fucking track shorts as well. He was just going to be in his underwear. Great, but does that mean you had to strip? Now you'll feel the power that's inside ass catch you. Guess we're doing this. My God. His fucking name. Yep, this is pretty much over. He really wasn't that too difficult. <laughs> Don't get cocky now. You haven't seen anything yet. Uh oh, now he's charging up. What the? When I get my hands on a hot, uh, nothing can stop me. <laughs> yeah, about that. Did you know the ass you grabbed back there actually belonged to the girl's twin brother? Wh what? That means I got hard off a guy. <laughs> he powered out. <laughs> I killed this. I killed this energy. Better learn to like it. The only ass you'll catch in the slammer will be muscular and manly. M man butts? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, stop struggling. Please, no! Man butts do nothing for me! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh man! Wow, son! Oh my goodness! Wow! That was actually amazing! <laughs> so, as Ketchum has been brought to justice, I say this case is firmly in the rear view. <laughs> You're incredible, Yagami son. Not even the police could rope him in. I savor your thanks for your brother, Tsukino. You no, really, you're the real hero, Yagami-san. <laughs> nah, work just uh, work just goes in strange directions sometimes. I, I've been grilled. <laughs> you got what you deserved, I say. Ugh. Here's your payment, Yagami-san. Oh, thanks. Well, goodbye. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he had his head down. <laughs> he is so sad. I mean, I know that it could be a real uncomfortable situation. There's only one of the twisted trio left standing. Oh, Tsukino is free from them, though. No way she draws the area of the next one, right? I believe it's probably going to happen. But, hey. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a man grabbing another man's ass. To each his own. All right, so the Kane gang are back. Uh, I'm actually going to do some more side stuff. Okay, so a publisher's request. Greetings, Yakimi-sama. I'm a Kawada. I and I'm contacting you today in hopes that you take on a rather odd request. Can we discuss this further at Cafe Mori on Nakamichi Street? I'm a middle-aged, average-looking man in a suit. Please come at your leisure. And I'll read this next one. So, 
My name is Fuyuhiko Tanaka. I'd like to talk to you about helping me look for someone. I'll be at M Side Cafe in a black jacket with a purple shirt. Thank you. All right, um, we'll do this one first to get this out the way. Actually, I can choose that one too. So, I'll activate both of them to get them both going. So, we'll take care of the first one and we'll see how it is. Excuse me. You must be Tanaka san, the one who needed a PI. Yeah, that makes you Yagami san, I assume. I'm Fuyuhiko Tanaka. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. So you're uh, hoping I can find someone? Is that right? Yes, one of my employees, actually. Queen of Hearts. An employee? Yes, her name is Asami Morimiya, and she stopped showing up to work as of last week. I see. And I assume you've exhausted all the regular ways to get in touch with her? Naturally, but it seems even her friends haven't heard anything, and she hasn't been seen at home. Not even her parents have seen her. Hmm. Do you have any ideas about where she may have disappeared? Anything she may have been running from? Actually, she admitted to me that she had a stalker. Oh, that's alarming. Yeah, she said that this guy who works for one of our clients had started harassing her. But we don't have any sway over their employees, of course. There wasn't much we can do. Then one day, she just didn't show up for work. Hmm. And what about this stalker? If his if it's a client, can you give me a description of any distinctive features? No, I'm not familiar with him myself. That's too bad. I regret not being able to help her. I'd rather to like to meet up with her so I can apologize in person. I'll pay a hundred thousand yen. Does that sound reasonable? All right, I'm on the case. Do you happen to have any photos of? Mori Miyasan, that would help me a lot. That definitely would help me a lot. Of course, here you go. Okay. Oh, and I have a cell and email. I should give you those too. You said you tried contacting her, right? Yes, but it always rings a few times and then goes to voicemail. And no response on email either. That would mean she still has the same cell phone. And she's probably keeping it charged. If she's changed her number, it wouldn't even ring. Hmm. But there must be a reason she's not answering. Where is she and what is she doing? Thank you very much. Alright, let's see where this goes. Problem is, I don't have any warm leads. Where should I start? I guess her cell would be the best bet if I can use that to pin her down her location. Hmm. But how? Who could do it? Who could do that? Excuse me. Excuse me, are you the one I requested a PI? Oh, yes. You must be Yagami-san, then. I'm Kawada. Nice to meet you, Kawada-san. What can I do for you? Well, let me start by saying I'm an editor at a small publishing company called Cloudy Skies Publishing. The thing is, we've been struggling recently. And if we don't publish a hit soon, the whole company may end up folding. It's that bad, huh? I'm afraid so. I've been racking my brain about it, but that's when I saw what I could be our lucky break. But when I saw we were our lucky break, 
Oh uh, yeah? Yes. Have you ever heard of Takumi Katagiri? He's a mystery writer. Oh yeah, he writes the Falco Edison series, right? I've read The Killing Light Bulb. Oh, so you know him. He's actually going to be announcing his new book soon. And I was wondering if you could attend the announcement event with us. The mystery writers... I... Not gonna pronounce that because I'm not fucking that up. <laughs> Me? Why? It's more than just an announcement, you see. He's going to reward publishing rights for his book at the same time. Publishing rights? Of course. No publisher is in its right mind wouldn't want Katagiri Sensei's newest. Whenever he writes anything new, publishers get worked into a frenzy trying to get it. I guess everyone wants to wants the safe bet. Very much so, and the big publishers always muscle out the smaller guys like us. That's business for you. But this time's different. He's trying to create a level playing field for all the publishers, and that ties to his announcement, I take it. Yes, exactly. I see. Well, do you know what his criteria is going to be? Apparently, Katagiri Sensei is going to come up with a problem, and the first publisher to solve it gets the rights. Mm -hmm. A problem? Yes, and that's where you come in. Wait, what? <laughs> Solving problems is a detective's job, right? Just like Falco Edison. Those are novels. In real life, he even struggled with those cases. Don't be such a downer. Come on, my company is going to live or die on this. Please, yagami san If you can do it, how does 180k sound? If you don't end up being able to solve this, at least you tried. Alright, that sounds like a pretty good deal. Then it's settled. Thank you. But again, no promises that I can solve this riddle of this. Of course. Well, the announcement is happening soon. Are you ready to head over? Yeah. Let's go then. Here we are. Looks like we made it. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed publishers, I'm pleased to welcome the world-renowned author, Takumi Katagiri, to the venue so that he may announce his new book. So without further ado, please welcome Katagiri-san! What? No applause? No clapping? Ah, oh, this crowd sucks. Let me first let me first thank all of you for coming today. I'm not usually one of this kind of extravagance, extravagance, but today I have my reasons. As you know, I have a new work to announce, and I'm confident it will be as good, if not better, than the Edison series. But I've not made any decision concerning who will publish the work at this time. I've always felt the field was a bit unfair, but sorry, and. Sorry. <laughs> and this time I'd like to give every publisher an equal shot. As such, I've devised this problem, whoever can find it. Whoever can solve it will be rewarded the publishing rights. You'll want to put your thinking caps on, everyone. This is it. This is all on your shoulders, yagami san Yeah, no pressure or anything. Allow me to give a few more details concerning this problem we have for you. The problem solution will be combination to the safe on stage. Katagiri-san's master script for his new book is locked inside. If you feel you've solved the problem, simply come on stage and attempt to lock it. If the safe opens, you have won the publishing rights. Now, are you all ready for the problem solve itself? The problem itself? Then let's get underway. Nagami, have you figured it out? Hmm? Hmm? 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. So, um we have to get Sukumo's package. And yeah, I'm going to take a side break from the previous um from the previous side case that I was originally doing because I was stumbling really hard. And no, I'm not gonna look it up because that's cheating. So, um, yeah, I'll just leave that for later. I'll just focus on this. So, we head to the Popo and get Sukumo's package. Excuse me. Hey, I'm here to pick up a package. Um, here you go. Oh, sure. Just a moment. Here's your order, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I don't do it for Sukumo. Better text him. Hey, I got your package. Thanks a ton. Can you swing by um the Manti? On my way. Alright, off to Manti. Hey. Alright, here's your package. <laughs> yes! You have no idea how excited I've been about this. Hey, whatever floats your boat. But anyway, anything you have to share on your end? Yes, I found this person you were looking for. Why wouldn't she bother changing her phone? Those things are like homing beacons, man. Damn, you're pretty good. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Anyway, seems like she's got a job at the Popo on Shichifuku Street now. Oh, come on. I have to go back to Popo? What's up with this? <laughs> yes, you do seem to draw into Popo stores quite a bit, huh? It's the Popo curse, Yagamishi. Wow, so we gotta go all... We gotta go <laughs> to the Popo? But at least it's not... But at least it's not in the same exact one. Yeah, at least it's not the same exact one. Eh, it's not a big deal. We'll just cut. It's not a big deal. 